and welcome back to Baseball Barbecast. We are now very excited to be joined by Kellen Lindsay, high school shortstop out of the great state of Florida. Kellen, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, Kellen, you were here at the MLB Draft Combine. You're gracious enough to give us some of your time, do some interviews. You're going to interviews with teams. And the question you were probably going to hear the most is, who do you model your game after? But I am curious, who is a player that is absolutely nothing like you in the big leagues or, or in the recent you know, past that is one of your favorites, that you are just – you wish you could be like them or it's just totally different that is some of your favorite players? It's a good question there. I like that. Um, honestly, I got to watch Jock Peterson – uh, that's a great Sunday one. night and I mean pretty awesome watching him the way he swings it okay so that's again that's very different right you're <laughs> yeah. right-handed you know exactly. short right, right-handed infielder with a lot of speed <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jock Peterson is a very lovely major league baseball player he is none of those things yeah exactly speed not yep. part of his game although did you know he stole 30 bases in triple a did he really yeah, yeah. so Impressive. The, he actually there was during a time, games oh yeah, yeah, yeah well, not like, like, <laughs> like you know like rob the facility uh, official stats <laughs> like yeah, he yeah. did used to used to run the bases but but yeah do you ever again now it's just oh he's he's the fast guy oh he's like Trey Turner he's like this yeah. but do you ever think like man I just wish I could just a lefty pull happy <laughs> just you know yanking homers into the pool oh. here at Chase oh Field. yeah do you ever, you know, yeah it hits the mind sometimes for sure yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's okay you, you know your strength yeah you, you exactly. know you know the player uh, that you're supposed to be so let's go back to the to the very beginning obviously you have some history uh, with some other sports a, as a quarterback but what what came first you know when you're you know a little five-year-old Kellen yeah, Lindsay yeah. we start playing sports was football first? Was baseball first? Was soccer first? <laughs> it was definitely baseball, yeah. From t-ball age is when I started. So, I mean, it's always been baseball. Mm -hmm. so. Did you realize that um, you grew up born and raised in Florida? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. so you get to play all the time. Did yeah. you Damn. like? Did, that, did you realize that, that was kind of nice that you could just play just like, year yeah. round or just taking ground balls in January? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's like, awesome. It's, the weather there. When did that dawn on you that that was special? Ooh, like yeah. that, that was kind of a different dynamic than other. Games. Honestly, when I started traveling to other places, when you kind of figured out, like, I mean, even here, it's it's so hot here sometimes. <laughs> Too Either, hot. Yeah, it, right. for sure. But but also, what this is a, when did you first play a game in the cold? Because this is something that we're always interested in with some of the players that you know come up and sign out of the Dominican Republic or Venezuela, yeah. and you know the first game they play in say the Midwest League in April is like the first time they've seen snow in their life. It's like yeah. when Jorge Soler is like wearing a parka <laughs> so, like during yeah. the World Series. Now, in Chicago. now you, yeah. your high school player, floor, when did you first play a game when it was cold out? Honestly, I haven't played that. It still many. hasn't happened. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Florida is. I mean, there has a couple cold days, but that's pretty much okay. it. Oh my God! First of all. No. <laughs> it's Florida it cold. rains. That's what you have it to deal rains. with. Yeah, the rain. But it, he makes a good point, and you would – all the travel tournaments yeah, why would in you Florida. Why yeah. would you travel to the cold? Exactly. Stay so in. It hasn't even happened yet. Yeah, not really. So do, have you thought about how you're going to you're gonna deal with that? Forget, okay, maybe big league team in, in Minnesota, Minnesota or a team that's playing cold in the beginning. But even in the minors, like I said, yeah. like there's a very high chance that early in your minor league career you will be playing a very, very cold game. Have yeah. you thought about what that's going to be like and how you're going to prepare? Are you going to be bundling up? <laughs> Are you going to be the, oh, no, I'm good, man. Uh, I don't need sleeves. Like, what, Do you know how you're going to handle that? Yeah, I mean, I'll probably have to layer up a little bit for okay. sure. Okay. Have yeah. you seen snow? I have, yes. I have. So, okay. so you won't be like, whoa! No, <laughs> no, where, no, where was it? Where did we to travel? This I snow? went snow I assume skiing. it wasn't at home. Yeah, I went snow skiing over in Utah. So Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, So, you've, but you haven't played baseball in it yet. No, Dude, I haven't. that's how you know this guy's from Florida. <laughs> he says snow skiing because <laughs> water skiing <laughs> is enough of a thing probably yeah. that you do, right? Yep. And so... <laughs> He has to say snow or jet, skiing. Jet skiing, right. Water right. skiing, snow yep. skiing. He has to distinguish. Oh, my gosh. I never even thought about because that. Because for us, if I said to you, Ski. oh, he's going skiing, the like, snow yes, is, snow is yeah, 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 yeah. in that process. Yep. But for you, it's not. All right. Now is actually a good time to uh, transition here. Yeah. So, again, we are both from the Northeast. Mm -hmm. oh. We, uh, I like hiking. But besides that, we're not like outdoorsy people necessarily. Yeah, no. Not, I have never, not in the wheelhouse. <laughs> not in our wheelhouse. I have never been fishing. Oh, really? Okay. You, no boat. Not, I mean, I've been, actually, you know what I have? I've been on, on a lake uh, with my grandpa when I was younger. He was like, hey, let's try fishing. Did it once, didn't go well, and that was the last time. However, I was probably you, 11. You, my friend, yeah. seem, uh, we did a little scroll on the old Instagram piece. Yeah, yep. it seems like this is part of the, the Kellen Lindsay routine when we're not sure. playing baseball yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, or football. And we need you to explain uh, this picture to two people. Yeah, H help us out. Uh, so uh, we're going we're gonna to pull this up here uh, in right. a second. All right, we're good. We're good. Just give it one second here. I think we have it up on the... 
Here we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We'll cut it in three, right. two, one. So what what am I looking at here? Well, first of all, what are these anim- <laughs> these animals? These are lobster. So okay. yeah, this is in uh, Keys, the uh, lower yep. part of Florida. Yes. Got it. And yep. so if if you and I, the boys, it's my brothers there. Yep. You and you and the brothers, okay. like this is a a trip that you yeah. took. Yeah. Yeah. So this was like a weekend. It was a week. A yeah. week. So we're yeah. going to go do a week in the Keys. Oh, yeah. And we're just going to catch a ton of lobsters. <laughs> we're going to acquire Basically, lobster. Yeah. Oh, How yeah. long did it take to, to rack up uh, this that many? type of haul? <laughs> Honestly, it can take all day. It depends on the day. But, I mean, it's work for sure. Getting and it's those. early morning. Oh, yeah. All right. So alarms of four? Early. Like two. Two. Well, yeah. What? Or oh, do yeah. you just... Are you going to sleep at 7 p.m. or are we staying up? We're just oh, you just sleep at the on the ocean out there at the <laughs> <So> hole. <laughs> up at two, boat at three. Yeah. What's the process? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, we're yeah. getting there. Boat <laughs> at three, and then we're getting out to sea. Yeah. And you that's out. where our lobsters are. Yep. And you're sleeping from like 3 to 5.30. Yeah, pretty much. And then you it's can't, lobster catching time. You can't get them until it's daylight, Okay. so you have to wait. And when you say get them, how do you do that? How does one? How uh, does that happen? Get them. So they're in like basically this rocky structure, and they're like they hide under there. It's about like eight to ten feet probably, and yeah. then you dive down with the mask and everything. And we're oh, and then what? And then you got like a noose, like it's oh, basically it's, a rope, and you pull it, and then you pull it around them, and you bring it up. Interesting. Oh, so, so it's, it's kind of like the thing that they have on the moon. Like the like the picker upper guy where like or a trash <laughs> in a way, yeah, upper. in a way, but it's yeah. not a net. It's no, like a, they it's do have more, nets. You can okay. use nets too. Yep. Okay. Is, is are the people who use nets like they're kind of like noobs? Like this is not <laughs> well. The like nooses real is round the ponds <laughs> use nooses. It's kind of the other way around actually. Okay. Oh, yeah. the nets are like more advanced. Yeah, they're difficult. older. Yeah. Oh, interesting. The but you're swimming there. down. Oh yeah. Under, how deep are we going? Like 10, 12 foot probably as deep okay, as you want to go. Okay, so we're going down there, and we're, we're going to get them. Yeah, you got a snorkel on. Okay. We're not up there on this. This is very different than fishing because oh, yeah. fishing you're sitting up there. All right, we're going in, and yep. then we're sitting back. This is the opposite. You got, you got to go get them. Oh yeah, you got to sure. go get those. And it sounds yeah. like that because based on the fact that this is the first photo nope. in the in the you know Instagram, it seems like this is what you're most proud of. Oh, right? Yeah, Anyone can sit sure. back and fit. so is that is that accurate? Oh yeah, no this doubt. you wanted to flex. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay. This is as so I do dive. Okay, I do yeah. scuba dive. Yep. And the idea of we're taught as scuba divers to never interact with the animals. Mm. And you seem to have the exact opposite approach. Yep. Trying to get in there with them. <laughs> I'm going to interact so much with these animals. Exactly, yeah. All right, and then the next photo, if you yeah, go let's... to the next photo here. Okay, so what, what are these? Those are grouper there. Grouper. Um, gag grouper. Okay. Yep. Well, how, does, now how, how are we acquiring these fish? I actually spearfish those. So oh, boy. Not right. with a... So again, with a little gun. Nah, so, that's that's okay. So what is that? Where are you doing that from? Are you still, is that from the from the boat? No, you're from, down there. You're down in the water there. That's also them. we're going yep, under. Yep. And oh I like God. press the tray. <laughs> it like makes like yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, it shoots at. How how close do you have to get to the fish before Ooh, you question. fire? Yeah, I mean, like from me to y'all, you can hit that shot. I mean, it's tough. You try if to get as close. Good. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. gotta have. What a if good you aim. ever do like long range, like trick shots? Oh yeah, like you're underwater. Gotta give it a chance. Just. But you can't kill shot. Can you, can you, how do you take video? Can you take video? That? Did you yeah. ever record that? Yeah. That we had GoPro video. Once okay. Before, yeah. There you go. So you yeah. can really, really show it off. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, let's, let's keep going yeah. through here. Okay. What are these? What are these fish? There's a mahi mahi there. Oh, two mahis. Delicious. Oh, yeah. If you like seafood, which I don't, but yeah, they are good. Are we, are we catching and eating or are we catching and Oh yeah. We ate those for sure. That's okay. it's how, good eating. How do you like your mahi? Mahi. Um, I like it blackened. Yeah, okay. Blacking on the grill. On the and grill, these yeah. are more. These are line caught. Yeah, these are line caught. Yeah. Got it. Now, if you had to give one piece of advice to two land bound <laughs> dodos yeah. like us, why should we get into fishing? Now, it's a little harder because uh, he lives in Ohio. Yeah. Okay. Well, Can't do a lot you. there. Talking to me, I live in New York City. There's fish. There's <laughs> yeah. water right there. There's water. Yeah, there, there is. There is now, are they edible? That's <laughs> yeah. a different conversation. <laughs> but if you had to say to the two of us. Give your, like, give I got your Lake fish. Erie, man. There's a lot of good fishing up there. What would your advice be to us? Oh, self, I mean, self fishing. I mean, fishing is just very peaceful more than anything. Like you can get out there, and even if you're not catching anything, you're out in the water. So it's this is awesome to be out there in general. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's keep click, click through. I think we got one more here. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a so, big old so boy. this is this one. It looks like you're like, hey, you're telling your friends out <laughs> I, of the way. This is mine. Yeah. I assume this is you. You caught this. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, I caught this on a rod actually. Barracuda. 
Barracuda. Oh, yeah. I've heard of those. I've yeah. heard Ooh. of those. They got some sharp teeth on them. Okay. Uh, and yeah. so you're proud of this one. Yeah, I'm proud of it. So you take this picture. Mm. Then what happens with the fish? Like, did you eat this oh, yeah. fish? Yes, he got eaten. <laughs> okay, this got eaten. Do you have any, like, mementos from mm. special fish that you caught, be they scales or Yeah, because this, by the way, this, this photo is, you know, three years ago. I mean, I assume yeah, you caught a lot of fish since then. And I yeah, hope that this fish sure. isn't just sitting in your apartment <laughs> or your house. <laughs> no, no, no. So, yeah, have you, since then? Have we, we yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've ever heard of tarpon, but yeah. that's, uh, they got, like, big scales like this. Yeah. So when we catch those, we usually get the scales. Nice. And what, are, you know, what catch are you most proud of that you've ever had? Oh, that's a good one there. Um, probably say tarpon. Yeah, that's probably the best because right. I mean, you can fight them for like hours even. So wow. it's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Fight? Sorry, you can fight them <laughs> for hours? Yeah, yeah like with the rod, them, dude. right? Like the biggest, you know, <laughs> like biggest this. catch or whatever. Like we're we're <laughs> exactly we're going. Yeah. We're and and so have you read Moby Dick? No, I I know it's they don't just they don't just submit. They're not just like oh great I got caught. I yeah. know oh, they're no. they're putting up a fight. Yeah. But when you say hours, yeah. Uh, that's at no point are you like, eh, I'll just try another one. Yeah, no, you're just sitting on all of this. So it's on Dude. the line for multiple, one, the same fish is on the line for multiple It hours. can be, yeah. Yep. Dude, wow. so this kid does not have ADHD. <laughs> it. Like for me, I'd be like 10 minutes in, I'd be like, I got to do something else. Like, Another fish, at least. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, Kelly. We didn't learn too much about you as a baseball player, <laughs> but you know, I feel right. like I learned a lot. Yeah. Let's let's do one. More. We'll do one more baseball question, and then and then we'll say goodbye. Leave the fish up. Yeah. Um, all right, Kellen, You're here at the Elmwood Job Combine. Obviously, it, hopefully, you know, your pro career could start soon. Maybe you'll, you'll go on to the University of Florida and begin your college career. But when you think about that next level, what what are we most excited about? Obviously, you've got to play, have some success at, at the high school level. What are you most excited about about the next step of your baseball journey? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to go out there and play with players that are the best in the world. I mean, mm -hmm. you're getting guys that have competed in college, high school, that, I mean, it's just going to be that environment where you kind of have to get better, and that's what I'm excited for. Do you, when you think about facing higher level, I'm, I'm sure on the showcase circuit, I know last year you had some injuries, didn't get to see necessarily as yeah. much, but in Florida, it's not like you're facing yeah. Yeah. 75. I mean, you're yeah. seeing it. When you when you think about those challenges, are you is that is that exciting? Is it is it are you curious? Like, what are the feelings when you think about what it's going to be like to face professional level arms? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm excited because I think in the minors, I mean, you're going to get so many reps at the plate, and you're going to have to get used to it, and you're going to learn things about your swing, and I think it's going to be fun getting to go through that journey. My last question for you: You are committed to the University of Florida. Yep. There is a gentleman who currently plays at the University of Florida. I don't know if you're familiar. His name is Jack uh, Caglione. Yep, I've heard the name. It's spelled Caglianoni, yep. but we all know it's not how you say it. Yep. What was your first Jack Caglione interaction? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. I think it was on the visit. Yep. Visit there, yep. You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> Who's shook, that his, guy? shook his hand, and it just pretty much ate my hand. I was like, this guy's unbelievable. <laughs> He's not real, yeah. but yeah. You've I gotten mean, to see him hit in person? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've gotten to see him on the field, just hitting him off the batter's eye. NBP, like, what are we doing out here? <laughs> <laughs> that's one where you're like, ooh, yeah, probably. You mentioned Jock. Yeah. That's one, again, that's the kind of – very different – different kind of player yeah for sure um but yeah no jets that's it's, it's one of a kind but uh yep. a gator legend maybe maybe you will one day uh head, head up to gainesville enjoy that but uh uh Kellen, thank you so much for joining us yeah. this was thank you for telling us how to, how fish. to fish and everything <laughs> sure, and yeah. we'll take those lessons and hopefully apply them someday thank thanks you so much for joining appreciate us. it yes sir